and thanks for joining us on the newsroom. There's a story we're monitoring at the moment. At least five persons are feared dead as gunmen attacked a Siena bus belonging to the Labour Party candidate for Enugu East Territorial District, Oibo Chuku. According to reports, the incident happened around Ekotu in Enugu South local government area in Enugu State late on Wednesday. The governorship candidate of the Labour Party, Chijioke Edioga, who confirmed the unfortunate incident, said that the gunman shot Chuku inside his vehicle with five other people with him and set the car at blaze. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, is to conduct the upcoming general elections in super camps following persistent insecurity in liberated four councils of Borno State. Speaking on INEC's preparedness in Maiduguri on Wednesday, the resident electoral commissioner, Mohammed Ibrahim, disclosed that elections in the no-go areas are to be conducted at the super camps of Nganzai, Marte, Monguno, Damasak, Doro, Baga and Cross Kawa in Kukawa Council. The Kogi state government has called on Nigerians to what it described as the ridicule the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has made of the fight against corruption in Nigeria with its disgraceful fixation on the state in the pursuit of desperate political interest of its chairman, Abdul Rashid Bawa. The Commissioner for Information and Communications in the state, Kingsley Fanwo, in a statement on Wednesday said that Bawa had confirmed that his mandate at the EFCC was to bring down perceived enemies of those who planted him there at the expense of the nation's integrity. According to him, the Kogi state government has no property that can be forfeited to the federal government under any guise, calling it a campaign of calumny taken too far. In COVID updates, data from the new Office for National Statistics, ONS, indicates that people from ethnic minority backgrounds are no longer significantly more likely to die of COVID-19. Analysts looked at mortality rates for different ethnic communities between January and November 2022, when Omicron was the dominant COVID variant. Early in the pandemic, deaths involving coronavirus were higher among black and Asian people than white people, with the highest risk among Bangladeshi, black Caribbean and Pakistani groups. In business, the Central Bank of Nigeria has debunked rumors of its plans to halt financial transactions from the 23rd to 27th of February 2023 ahead of the upcoming elections. A WhatsApp message announcing that the Apex Bank will shut down all electronic bank networks between Thursday and Monday in order to prevent vote buying went viral at the beginning of the week. Sharing a copy of the said message via its verified Instagram page on Wednesday, the CBN said that the report was false and advised the public to beware of fake news. A series of earthquakes has hit a remote region of Tajikistan bordering China with the strongest tremor measured at magnitude 6.8. According to reports by the U.S. Geological Survey and Mediterranean Seismological Center, the quake struck at about 5.37 a.m. local time on Thursday, about 40 miles west of Mogob, near the border with China's Jiaxing province. No casualties have been reported so far. In sports, former Liverpool star Jose Enrique has hit at the club's players Virgil van Dijk, Mohamed Salah and Trent Alexander-Arnold following the club's Champions League round of 16 first leg 5-2 defeat to Real Madrid on Tuesday. Enrique said Salah and van Dijk were completely off against Real Madrid while Alexander-Arnold has been playing badly so far this season for Liverpool. He also criticised Liverpool for selling Sadio Mane and signing the likes of Darwin Nunes and Cody Gakbo. That's all on the newsroom at this time. Thank you for watching.